I am the senior West Coast writer for People Magazine, and I put together Most Beautiful People issue, Sexiest Man Alive issue, and this year we are putting in the fabulous guys from Queer Eye into the Sexiest Man issue. This is the perfect year to include the Fab Five because they're making such an incredible sensation. People are really excited to watch them on Netflix, and they're just really having fun, and their energy is contagious. So. We're very excited and they're more than worthy to be in the issue. As a result of them being in Sexiest Man Alive, we have asked them to help give tips to our readers to make their spouses and their mates a little more sexy and a little more romantic. Um, the typical reader's husband. Not that they need it, but just even more so than usual. <laughs> <laughs> and so we've got my That's husband, me. Terry, <laughs> who is such a trooper, and I am going to owe him big time. I have no <laughs> grooming habits to speak of. I use shampoo. I've never been in skinny jeans. I've never been in pointed boots. I've never had anybody <laughs> suggest a certain style for me. So I'm curious to see how that's going to be. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Hey guys! Hey, how are you? Up, Come on hey, in! Bobby, Welcome! Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I love your big knocker. Oh, hey, nice to meet nice. you. Hey, how are you doing, Karamo? Wow, such a lovely home. Yeah, it really is so nice. Guys, nice have a seat. Thank you so much. How long have you been in this house? Uh, we have been in here for 12 years now. All right, Terry. Yes? We're here to help. You're a married I, man. I, I need help. You're a married man, <laughs> and we're here to make you sexy. I am a married man. <laughs> what do you think you need help with? Wow. Um, I probably just need a lot of help with a lot of things. Is there anything about yourself that you think is, you, I know you probably won't use the word sexy, but that you like about yourself? What is it that you like about yourself? I would never consider myself sexy, so okay. I, I don't even know how to respond. He's to gonna it. deal with that. Does your wife <laughs> yeah. consider you sexy? I would like to think so, but you know, you probably more so 18 years ago. Uh, so we're here to make sure that we're gonna take care of you by the end of this. You're, you've got a date and we wanna make sure that okay. every day is could be date night where you feel really good about yourself. Yep. So every one of us is gonna take care of you. Uh, food, grooming, fashion, interiors, um, and culture, and we're gonna make sure that by the end of this process, you're gonna feel great about yourself. Are you okay with us creeping around your house while you, you start with one of us? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna keep you, and they're okay. gonna get out of here. Can like... I go check out your wardrobe? Absolutely. Stay out of the nightstand drawers. Never look in anybody's nightstand drawers. You already have a beautiful home. Well, thank you. Um, usually when I walk into people's homes, it's, I'm scared, but I actually, I love this. It's very serene, it's decorated well. It's all my wife. The great thing about Terry is he was not way over here. He was here. He just needed to be taught to take some time to really appreciate Julie and to let her know how much she appreciates her. It just takes an extra five minutes a day to really make your partner know that you love them. What I kind of want to teach you is how to make some little different moments every day. Um, to kind of mix things up a little bit, because I know you're having date night with your wife tonight, yeah. right? So to me, it's very important to kind of take those moments at home and do something that's unexpected. So I'm gonna set up a little picnic moment for you. Um, I'm partnering with Anthony on this. He's gonna work on the food with you. I'm gonna work on the design, and it's gonna be this nice little romantic picnic. Well, I hear Anthony in the kitchen already rummaging okay. through things, so I'm gonna let you go in with Anthony. Awesome. Okay. All right, thank you. Thanks, you mind. Give me a hug, we're hugs. Yeah. <laughs> All, right, <it's> <laughs> All right, Have fun with him. Listen, guys, I understand. We, as a culture, we tell men that you shouldn't feel like you're good looking. You're supposed to dole all the compliments out, and no one's ever giving you any, but that has to stop. Yo, Terry! Hey! How was it with Bobby? It was good. Is he gonna redo your whole house in five minutes? I hope so. Got it. <laughs> Be honest with me. Okay. Looking at all of this, how intimidated are you on a scale of one to, oh my gosh? Eight. How's okay. That? So a lot of these things aren't familiar. No. I think that for tonight, I want you to have a really cute little night with your wife that doesn't require a lot of effort, but requires a lot of care and thought. We have this awesome block that we're just gonna basically assemble this whole spread on. There's literally no cooking, it's just assembly. Terry is overwhelmed at best when we get in. So I wanted to make something that was simple. We have a cheese and charcuterie board exploring local cheeses and then something French from across the pond. I just wanted to kind of like open up his palate and his extend his horizons and just have him try things he's never had before. So we're gonna get started here. So we're gonna open this little guy up here and we're gonna plop it down wherever it fits. A farmer's cheese goes really nicely with honey. 
We'll take some dried cranberries, have those strewn about on the side. Have you ever had a blue? Yes. So you love a blue cheese? I like strong cheese. Let's grab this guy because we know that you love him. This little bleu d'Auvergne, our little French blue. Now let's just kind of go extra and make this thing kind of feel more like a painting. One dollop like so, and then swoosh. So with the manchego, I think we do need something that's like nice and sweet for this. What do you think we should add? I don't like that one. How about this one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great answer. You want to do the olives? Yeah. So just with your hand, just grab a few and you can just throw them in around. Yeah. <laughs> Dump it right on there. So then just to finish it off, because we're I was going to say, I think we need more meat. We need more meat, right? <laughs> so prosciutto's often, I did buy the pre-sliced stuff. I'm totally guilty of that. I do like to buy it sometimes just from the deli and have them cut it up. Are we missing anything? Is there anything else that we can add? Maybe just some dried apricots just to have a bit of color. And I think we're all set. I think so. Do you want to walk through, like, do you remember what these things are? Blue cheese. French blue. Aged Havarti. That's right. Manchego. Manchego. Borson. Borson. With some honey. With some honey. Prosciutto. This is the- I, uh, want, I want to the, call it salami. You can just say, it's a truffle. <laughs> just say truffle salami. Truffle, it truffle is what salami. it is. Okay, okay. Blackberries. You're good. You know what everything mm -hmm. is. Why am I even here? How adorable is this? And it's something special that didn't require a lot of time. That's just, I don't know. Hey! Cromo loves cheese and now he's allowed to touch it because I've actually made this. He knows he's not allowed to touch it before. That's why he won't let me in here. <laughs> Seriously. Gruyere. Thank you. I know we're here to support you. You look really good. <laughs> well, thank you. I mean, we can all use room for improvement, but I want you to know, you're not starting from zero. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, there's a scale of one <laughs> to ten. You're not the worst one we've ever helped. Woo. <laughs> I feel better now. Can I take him now? I'm gonna tidy up. I'm gonna leave this for you here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Have Will you fun. save me some prosciutto and some of that cheese? Absolutely. Let's go. Let's spend some time together. All right. I will tell you this, that when I came here and I saw your beautiful house, and your beautiful wife and your beautiful children, I thought, this seemed like a guy that has it all together. Right. How are we gonna really help him here? And then said something to all of us that struck my heart and has completely changed how I was coming in here to help you. When we asked you if you feel sexy, you said, no. And then I asked you, do you feel handsome? And you said, no. Yeah, I mean, I just, don't think in those terms, I guess. Listen guys, I understand. We, as a culture, we tell men that you shouldn't feel like you're good looking. You're supposed to dole all the compliments out and no one's ever given you any, but that has to stop. As much as we give compliments to our partners, to the women in our lives, it's also important that we say, we need the love as well. So for Terry, the first step was acknowledging the love within himself and realizing that, Terry, you are really striking. When was the last time you looked in yourself in the mirror and thought, I look good? It's been a while. Like how long? 10 years, at least. And what happened at that 10 year mark? Could have been, you know, and it's 10 or 12 years ago. I mean, the first year that my company made a profit and it gave me confidence. And I, I remember looking at myself in the mirror and saying, you got this. Mm. And that was the last time? And that was probably the last time. <laughs> yeah. There's a lot of validation coming from all the external stuff. So I understand why you say things like, I don't think in those terms, but you should be thinking in those terms. You have a son. I do. How would you feel if your son said, I don't think I'm handsome? It would disturb me. Why? Because I wouldn't think he'd have any self-confidence to go out in the world and do what he needs to do. And so I get your point. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it's we get to a place yeah. where it's, I can't focus on me. I can't think about me and what I like about me because my job, society and culture tells me my job is to focus on everyone else. If you want to have true romance and love in your life, you have to first love yourself because love is a mirror. What you see in yourself is what you're going to reflect to the rest of the world. So tonight you get with her and you start telling her the things you love about her. I want you to also tell her these are things that I love about me. That's where romance and intimacy comes from. So if you can say, you know what, I didn't think that I was always that handsome. And uh, I didn't think in those terms, to use your words. <laughs> I thought in those terms for you, but I didn't think in those terms for me. 
give her an opportunity once she hears you saying it to start telling you as well. What I love about myself. And what you love about yourself. That's true romance. All right. Thanks, man. <laughs> Come here. Uh... There is something about the energy of your house that just makes us love her quarrel, doesn't know, it? I know. Carissa, can we borrow it? Absolutely. Caramo, I'm so sorry. No, we're done. Wait, thanks, thanks, thanks again. No. I yes, think it's the yes. lack of pomade that's making me feel this way. <laughs> and I think that we're gonna fix that. Bye, queen. Bye, love. You can't trust what seems sometimes. You just gotta trust what the gays tell you to do. <laughs>
different look because we're, this is everyday sexy. Every, things that you could do that make just a little bit of a difference. Right. Okay, so then if you're living in this and you're also golfing in right. this, she hasn't really seen a different exactly. guy. <laughs> okay, so then come with me. I've got okay. other options for you. I want you to feel a little more dressed up. You look pretty great on the whole. My concern is your underwear. <laughs> I know that I've only known you for a very, very short amount of time, but your underwear is not sexy. They're comfortable. I'm sure they are. <laughs> but sometimes comfort's great, and I love comfort. However, there's sexy comfort. I wear boxer briefs, so do many, 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 many men, yeah. because they are comfortable, but they also are sexier. So maybe can I implore you to try underwear that's just a boxer brief? Okay. It's just gonna make you look a little sexier when you present yourself to your wife every night. Sound good? Sounds great. Do you wanna try something on? Absolutely. Okay, great. So I'm gonna get you in a pair of dark jeans. I got you a few different options, a okay. few different fits, but this is a slim jean. It's not skinny. I'm not getting you into a skinny. It wouldn't be appropriate right. for you. Um, so this is just a slim. Okay. Um, I want you to try a jacket on. Um, and then I wanna do a couple of layers. So I don't, wanna, I don't wanna muddy the waters at this point by going crazy with too much more. So let's just get you in a gray sweater. I'll put you in a gray shirt so it's not overkill. Let's keep it sophisticated. Okay, and then I'm gonna get you in a boot. So just put the, the jeans and the shirt and the sweater on for now. I'm gonna okay. help you on the boots and then we'll try on the jacket. Okay. And just let me know when you're decent. Thank you. Boxers are like, dad. Exactly. But boxer briefs are like, daddy. Boys, come on join. I want you to take a look at him. Come on, come on. Oh, he looks so handsome. Yes. Ooh. I love that jacket. Oh, oh, yes. We found out that oh, the word sorry. that you prefer is striking. Striking. Oh, so he I looks like striking. That. Striking. So Terry actually looked great. He was already not too far removed from style, like great style. He just needed things to fit better. He doesn't really get dressed up for work. He wears polos and chinos pretty much every day, his golfing look. And so I just wanted to get him in something slightly more polished. And then I wanted to keep the color simple, muted. It's for a date night. And so simple, gray on gray, and then a navy. Yeah. That you can't see is that he is living, oh, do you mind me talking about this? Yeah. Okay, he is living in a very unflattering boxer short, like a granddad can. Can we do a boxer brief? Or yes, that's exactly brief? what like, I said. Boxers? boxers are like, dad. Exactly. But boxer briefs are like, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Does this work? This looks great. You great. You do. I feel, I feel great. Yeah, now I've got something to show you. Okay. You ready? Come on, boys. All right, so. I know originally wow. I said I was gonna set you up Holy a little cow. picnic for outside, but I ran around your house and I found things you already had and I turned them into a great little romantic picnic moment for you and Julie. Again, this is all stuff that I found literally in your backyard. <laughs> this is unbelievable. Thank you. One of the most sexy things you can do for your partner is take time to design romance. It only takes a few minutes to really let your partner know that you love them. You know, you don't have to go out and spend a lot of money. You can do it with what you already have at home. How do you think Julie's gonna react? I think she's gonna be very impressed. Yeah? Ah, oh, is that her? Uh, Look at oh this. My God. Huh? <laughs> what do you think, Julie? You look amazing. Come on, James. Holy crap, you look so good. <laughs> I mean, I knew you looked good, but you look really good. <laughs> look at your hair, it looks really yeah, good. Looks for all of you men out there, get out of your own way. It's okay for you to, to think that you're attractive. It's okay for you to feel good. So I think it's really about like, you know, removing labels and about getting out of your head and into your body and, and focusing on how you feel. <laughs> you feel good? Yeah, this is great. You look really yeah. sharp. I'm super impressed. All right, guys, so it's time to pamper your wife. So Terry, here, because I want you serving her. Absolutely. And Julie, here. I'm gonna go get the other boys. Have fun, guys. Okay. This is <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so I'm gonna make you one of my favorites that right. we had earlier. Okay. It's like an apricot. Nice. I'm so proud of you. This is amazing. <laughs> Toast our crackers. <laughs> Food is such a sensory experience. There is something sexy about feeding someone, feeding yourself. It's like love and intimacy intertwined. So do you think this is something you could do on your own without <laughs> the help of these amazing guys? I think any guy can do this. It's not that hard. Yeah. You just gotta take time 
and that's the biggest thing I think I got out of today was you just got to make time to do something. Do you feel as sexy as you look? Because you look amazing. <laughs> I do feel good. You feel good? Yep, you feel confident? Are, I would have never chosen I know. this on my own. It's so good though. It's such a good like, yeah. combination. For everyone out there who's feeling a little bit schlumpy, wants to step up a little bit and feel that ever so slight bit sexier, just make sure the colors complement you and that they represent what your life is all about. Just small, small tweaks. No major, major changes. Hi guys. Hey. Hi. You can't have a oh, shoes thank wine. you. Oh my Can gosh, I come and scoot so in? A bit of a Please. Aww. I'm so impressed with you guys. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> Eat some food, please. That's really? Like, well, that's so amazing. Food. For a lot of times we do like a little experiential treatment like this. It's like people are like, well great, but maybe I can't afford to go out to the restaurant and go do like a great date night. You don't necessarily like have to go out, spend a bunch of money on like an outside restaurant. You can definitely bring a date night in. You can definitely do like a mixture of high-low products like for grooming, for clothing. Like there's always a way that no matter where you're starting, you can prioritize each other and, and make something special without necessarily having to leave the house which I think is really great. And all of these things, are, they're just small changes that we're making. So he wasn't far removed from where we wanted him to be. It's just small tweaks to make a bit more of an effort. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And again, just taking the things you have, you know, not adding extra time, just taking a little bit of time out of your day to really let your partner know. And I want you doing it too, yeah. not oh, just him. Definitely. It's tweaks of the good things that are already there. Just like enjoy these moments and yeah. like once a week for you guys to sit down and enjoy a meal together like this, hopefully more. Dim the lights, play some sexy music and just have a good time. And connect emotionally. That's what it's about. Yeah, this is really just the setting for you two to connect emotionally. Sure. Yeah. You got your cheese, you got your gorgeous setup, you got your connection primed and ready to happen. Love it. We should let them have yeah, a private yeah, moment, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. You guys enjoy. Thank you so much for letting us in your gorgeous home. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's really nice. Thank you. 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 Have a good day. No, you're awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for having us. You guys are awesome. Thank you. Bye. Do not forget to share. I will not. I know. You got to You got to him. That's good. Good. I am so proud of you. You're a true dog.